I'm going to do a quick demonstration of what it sounds like when your guitar's ground isn't connected properly. Uh, you can see I still have all the electronics of my Epiphone Riviera P93 pulled out on this piece of cardboard. I've currently disconnected this black alligator clip, which is the common ground for all the electronics. And you can hear there's this little buzz and hum going on, and it changes when I touch any of the, the metal on the guitar. Now all the metal parts of the guitar, from the tuning pegs, through the strings, to the bridge, to the Bigsby, and down to the uh, metal parts of the electronics, the um, shafts of the pots, the jack, the bushing of the switch, they should be all connected electrically. And with a, a ground issue like this, you can hear if I touch the metal parts, it changes the sound. And none of it sounds good. Furthermore, the guitar itself, this is the neck pickup alone, tones all the way up, just sounds sort of muffled and, and weird. Now if we connect that ground back up, let's see what, see what happens. I just connected that right up to the back of the pot where it belongs. So now, oh, it fell off. <laughs> Try that again. That's better. Now you can hear, it's totally silent. Whether I'm touching the strings or not, doesn't make any difference, it's all good. And furthermore, the sound is nice, big, and full sound. So if you're hearing this kind of buzz, or a weird hollow sound in addition to a buzz, you can suspect a ground problem. Uh, There's probably a uh, loose wire somewhere. Uh, what you can do to solve this is take your multimeter and check connections between various components, uh, the metal parts of the components, to make sure they are connected together. And if, if you see on your multimeter that they're not, you can suspect a, a broken wire at that junction. Uh, the front of the guitar, these metal parts, the tuning pegs and the bridge and the Bigsby, are connected together by the, the string. The string is the connection. Um, but this set of metal is connected to the electronics through a wire that's typically connected to the bottom of uh, one of the posts of the bridge. If I were to take this bridge off, we'd probably find at the bottom of this uh, post right here, at the bottom of the screw, there's a wire soldered to it, and that wire is running down and connected to the backs of one of the pots. Um, so if that wire came loose, you'd hear some weirdness. Uh, and if you've got any of the wires loose inside, connecting the grounds of the switch, uh, the jack, uh, the switch, the pots to the jack, that'll be the problem. Ultimately, all the grounds do end up at the ground lug of the jack, which uh, is connected through the wire out to your amp and then into the uh, the electrical system ground. And all of that ground needs to be tied together properly for it to sound good. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching.